I'd like to show you some basic block printing techniques. We'll be using some traditional linoleum block, some speedy cut, and speedy carved products to create some block printing images. We're going to start off by transferring an image to the linoleum block. Now you can simply draw your own image right on the block, or you can take an image that you've either downloaded as clip art or, or drawn yourself as a separate sketch, and using some graphite paper, you can transfer that image onto the block. Simply lay the graphite paper onto the block, and then the image over the top of it, and with a ballpoint pen, trace around the image itself. Once you've finished transferring your image, it's time to start cutting. When you begin cutting your block, you need to determine what images you actually want to print. The material that you cut away will not print, and everything that you leave on the block will actually print onto your printing paper. It's also important to keep in mind that if you're printing letters or numbers, you'll want to pr transfer those in reverse image. There are several cutters you can use to do block carving, starting with the traditional linoleum cutters. The linoleum cutters are push style cutters. You'll want to use a bench hook for safety and you'll always want to push away from you when you begin carving. With the traditional linoleum carver you push into the block and then try to glide smoothly along your cut edge, lifting the material out. Or you can use our lino zip cutter. The lino zip cutter is a safety cutter because it has a sharpened edge on the inside of the blade. So you cut as you're pulling towards you, which makes it less likely to catch a finger if the cutter happens to pull away from the linoleum. Once you finish carving your block, it's time to start inking up the block. You can use Speedball water-based block printing ink or oil-based block printing ink. Water-based ink cleans up with soap and water, and oil-based ink you'll need solvents to clean up with. You can use your bench hook as an inking plate, applying a liberal amount of ink onto the plate, and using a hard rubber roller, you want to spread that ink around. You want to coat your brayer with ink in a nice, even coating and you'll use the brayer to transfer that ink onto the linoleum block. Once you get a nice even layer, you want to transfer that ink in both directions and try to get a nice even coating of ink onto your block. And now it's time to print. I'm using Speedball Printmaster printing paper to transfer the image from the block onto the paper itself. You lay the paper right over the inked up linoleum block, and I'm going to be using a barren, but you can also use a hard rubber roller to create pressure between the paper itself and the block. You want to add a nice even amount of pressure all the way across the block so that the ink transfers as consistently as possible. and then simply lift your print right off the block. In addition to traditional linoleum block, there are other materials that offer an easier cutting surface. Here we have some speedy cut material. Speedy cut material is a medium density printing material. And then we have here speedy carve. Speedy carve is a very soft printing material which is terrific for beginners to learn how to cut. It offers a nice smooth cut. The difference though is that there's a lack of density to it. So when you want a highly defined block printing image, you'll want to start with linoleum. But if you're learning the technique and you want to do some practice carving or you want some very simple images, then some of the softer materials like Speedy Carve and Speedy Cut are a terrific alternative. Speedball Art Products offers a wide variety of tools and materials so that artists from beginning to professional can use our block printing materials to achieve wonderful results.